Hey, welcome back to Hardworking Man. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make any commercial log splitter and maybe even store-built units faster when they're in the wood. If your splitter slows way down when it gets to a tough piece of wood, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video because this just may help you increase your productivity and make your machine split way faster. And I'll show you what we're doing and how we're gonna do it. We got the Easton made 1222. I got the six way on that. We're gonna show you how to adjust the Easton made. And we've got the all wood muscle wood with the eight way. I'm gonna show you how to adjust that also. And you can adapt this to whatever splitter you have. I've got some of that beech tree left from the other day. So I'm gonna get that bucked up and we're gonna use those pieces to show you the difference and what you need to listen for and how to set your machine. Today I'm gonna to be running the 044 steel that I picked up on Marketplace. I've got the green pro sizer laser on here. You'll see how I use that working left to right and right to left. And you may notice I've got a new bar on the 044. I had an Oregon bar on here. I've had it for years and my cuts were starting to wander a little bit. That bar was getting wore out and you can pinch them back shut, but I thought, you know what? Let's just buy a new bar. It's the Titanium Pro Top GB made in Australia. It's not an all titanium bar, but it's titanium infused metal. It's also got a replaceable tip that's narrower. That's supposed to be better for bore cut. So. We'll see how this thing holds up and how I like it.
Muhammad and Sadas. You got Sadas all over you. Rachel's just out to film today. Covered. I can feel Still it. Still covered, all up in her hair. All right, to start off, I'm just going to show you each of these machines on an empty cycle with no wood in it. So as you can see, it's a pretty consistent, smooth, even stroke for each one. Now, we'll see if it can keep somewhere towards that same speed when we got some beach in it. So here we go, let's see if it slows way down or if it keeps a good speed. You can see it slowed down quite a bit splitting that beach and it wasn't really a naughty piece. Throw a couple more through it. And this isn't a very difficult splitting wood. This beach is splitting pretty easy, but you can still tell that it's not getting the speed it was getting without wood in it, which you would expect. But I'm gonna show you how to retain more of that speed when you got wood in it. So there you can see with a tougher piece, it's really slowing down. Let's jump over here on the all wood and see how that does. So you can see when it busted loose, it picked its speed back up but it slowed down quite a bit to put that piece through. That one, it didn't really slow down. That was a small, easy, knotless piece. You can see where it's slow, and then it gets its speed back. Same thing there. All right, now I'm gonna shut these machines down, explain what's happening, and show you how to adjust them. Okay, so having our channel has been very useful to me because I get to learn a lot of stuff. Now, when I bought that Easton Made 1222, I bought it used, it had 400 hours on it. We started running it on the channel and, and I got contacted by Andrew from Easton Made and he said, hey, I think your splitter needs an adjustment. And he walked me through how to adjust it. Not too long ago, when we started this third of a cord challenge, Bobby from Allwood Log Splitters watched our third of a cord challenge, the first one when we started it all off. And he said, hey, I think you need to make an adjustment on that log splitter. So what I think happens is these log splitters get set, they get shipped out when they're brand new. Well, as the hydraulics break in, things change and you need to know how to adjust your log splitter so you continue to get that maximum performance from these units. That's what we pay for, that's what we want. So what's happening when you're splitting, these are two stage pumps on these log splitters. Stage one is the faster stage. So the empty cycles, the easy splitting wood, it's stage one, it goes faster. When you get into the tougher stuff, the pumps kick down into stage two, which isn't as fast, but it's more powerful. So the adjustment we're gonna show you how to do today is keeping the pump in stage one longer because they're kicking into stage two too soon. It doesn't have to go from stage one to stage two until you start hearing your motor bog down. If you go back and watch what we just did, you'll notice that these motors, neither one of them bog down whatsoever. So that tells me it's kicking into stage two far too early. So on the all wood, this muscle wood, it's got this block up here. To adjust it, you just loosen this set screw and then you have an Allen key here. Now I already know where the setting was before I turned it back to show this and I went two turns. So now I'm back to where it's where I know the setting is right and I'm gonna set the set screw 
And what that's gonna do is that's gonna require more pressure to kick it into stage two. And you're gonna hear that motor will probably just start to bog and then it'll slow down a little bit. But you'll see it's not gonna slow down near as much, if at all, with this beach. Let's go over to the Easton Maid and I'll show you how to adjust that machine. All right, on this Easton Maid 1222, the adjustment is on the side of the pump. So the same thing, you're gonna loosen that, that uh, lock nut. We call it a set screw on the other one. Lock nut, set screw, call it what you want. It's a lock nut, I guess. And on this one, the same thing. I went out two turns, so I'm gonna come back in two turns. And then I'm gonna retighten that set screw lock nut, whatever you wanna call it. You wanna do this with the machine warm. And like I said, I already knew where these settings were at, but when you're adjusting these for the first time, you're gonna wanna run it till you hear that motor just start to bog before it kicks into the second cycle. So I'll get these lifts filled back up with the rest of that beach and we'll run these through and see if you can tell the difference. starts to bog if these things kick to, set to stage two on the pump at all. Did you hear that engine sort of bog a little bit there? That's where you want it set. And then it gets right back to stage one and finishes that split strong. And there, with a piece like that, it didn't really ever go to stage two. Again, a knotty piece never hit stage two because we made that adjustment to keep it in stage one longer. Now here on the all wood, you definitely saw a difference when we had this set wrong. Let's see what it does now. Never slowed down. You didn't hear that motor bog? Right there into two, and then powers right through it. That was the toughest piece we've split yet today. Right there, you heard the motor bog just a little bit, but it never hardly went to stage two. And this one it's not going to. All right, so there it is. I hope you guys were able to see the difference on video because I could definitely tell the difference live in person. And like running the Allwood and the Easton Maid with the correct settings, it's a whole nother animal. So whether you got an Easton Maid, a Wolf Ridge, an Allwood, uh, Timber Wolf, they've got these adjustments and I've heard people referring to it as turning your pump up. You're not turning the pump up you're turning the pressure up that it requires to kick it into stage two on that pump. So if you guys like this type of video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, comment down below, and let me know if you knew about this, if you've done this, or if this is something new that might help you get more performance out of your splitter. Thanks for watching, hardworking man, guys. Have a great day.